this is a short video um, showing the laser I made. Um, I'll say right now I'm not going to go into any real, you know, description of it. Basically, it is a two watt, roughly two watt laser. Um, I don't actually have the tools to measure the actual light output, um, but roughly two watts. Um, all the parts besides the laser diode itself were purchased from survivallaser.com, uh, sorry, survivallaserusa.com. I will put links in the description to each and every part that you see sitting here in front of you, including the batteries and the charger here on the wall. Um, it, you can't beat the price for the, the, the output power that this has. Um, but basically, you have the seasick host, batteries, extension tube, a 1.8 amp, uh, buck driver, a 445 nanometer M140 diode inside a copper housing. Um, there is a blue aluminum um, housing. They offer red, purple, and green. Obviously blue because mine is a blue laser pointer. There is a outside uh, push spring as well as an inside one. I have the black extended focus ring which helps a lot. That is the best thing to get right there, the little black clip here on the top. Um, everything is thermal pasted together for the best heat transfer I can get. The only things you need to solder are the red and the black wires from the diode. That's all you need to do in here and then slide it together very carefully. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish assembling it real quick and show you what this can do. So bear with me real quick. See if I can place this where I want. It's that you can see it. So, screw on the battery extension tube. You can use it with one battery, but I don't recommend it because, well, it doesn't work. You, you don't see a light. Alright, now, let's see if I can put the camera up a little bit. Okay, so. Um, here, this is a white tissue, um, just out of a plain tissue box. Um, I've seen a lot of videos of people burning black CD tapes and electrical tape and lighting matches and stuff like that, and sure that's good, but if you look at all the video, they're all black surfaces, black absorbed light. Of course you're going to be able to burn them very easily with your you know, Krypton and Arctic lasers from Wicked Lasers that you paid 700 freaking dollars for, which is completely unreasonable for that type of power. Um, this thing costs a fifth, and I guarantee it's probably more powerful than a Wicked Laser that you got. Um, but anyways, enough about that. Um, white tissue paper, it's see-through, it's white, and it's very, very light. But let's see if I can uh, do some damage with this real quick. Um, what you see on the video is not a lie. You can actually see the beam in midair in mid daylight. That is not, I mean, that's, that's how bright this thing is. Um, but if you can see, I have the focus point, see if I can place it on the door, is about right here. If you touch it, it'll start melting your skin instantly, and I will prove it. White tissue paper. Mingo. With a thing of light. I mean, come on, you can't beat that. Now, before I light my room on fire, go ahead and blow that out. So, obviously, that is smoking a lot. But, uh,. Yeah, so basically, a, a laser pointer for under 200 bucks can do that to your uh, tissue paper. So if you ever feel like revenge on a tissue paper, it's the best way to do it. Um, anyways, let me know what you think. If you have any uh, comments you want to make, good or bad, I take criticism very well. 